Yeah, well, that's, it's, it's nicely related to the point you were just mentioning. So, um, uh, so I run DHL and DHL supply chain in there, <coughs> and we have quite a, some ambitious plans towards zero emission um, uh, and optimizing the supply chain of our customers to get to that. But one of the things we obviously always face is that um, uh, we also run an airline, and um, uh, and that's actually the, yeah, yeah. How the, the biggest you have? the biggest uh, um, ambition on how do we get that yeah. uh, carbon neutral. So sure. I'm curious to Aircraft pick your brain on that one. Um, well, actually, I'm just curious, how many aircraft do you have? M many. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, yeah, so aircraft uh, will certainly go electric. Um, the uh, energy density requirement to have uh, aircraft with the reasonable range is much greater than for cars or ships. So, um, my back-of-the-envelope calculations suggest that you need about 400 watt-hours per kilogram to have uh, aircraft with a decent range. This is where, with a range where it's comfortably over 1,000 kilometers, mm -hmm. um, including some reserves and you know, uh, em emergency power and that kind of thing. Um, and then as you go above 400 watt hours per kilogram, it gets really uh, better in a nonlinear way uh, because you spend so much of your energy getting to altitude. Once you get to altitude, uh, the air is thin and your cruise, uh, cruise, cruise power is, is quite low. Yeah. Um, so once you get, if, if you go to like 450 watt hours per kilogram, even though it's, well, let's say, 460 or 480 watt hours per kilogram, you will, you will double the range. Um, so even like a 20% increase, let's say, in energy density will double the range to at least 2,000 <coughs> kilometers, if not more. So, uh, and we're, we're getting there progressively with uh, improvements in the energy density um, almost every year. Uh, so this is just watt hours per kilogram. And... Uh, uh, a lot of the improvements in energy density actually also improve the cost because you need less material because uh, you're able to, to put more energy uh, in uh, the, the same amount of material, which means less material per, per unit of energy. Um, w you know, where we are right now is um, you know, a little over 300 watt-hours per kilogram, mm -hmm. uh, and some of the very expensive cells can do over 400 watt-hours per kilogram. Uh, but the, the, the high-volume cells, I think, will start to approach 400 watt-hours a kilogram as well. So I, I would expect to see uh, a significant transition to uh, 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 electric aircraft, uh, starting initially with propeller planes, because they're more generally more efficient per kilometer than uh, jets, um, and, uh, and, then, and then turboprops, and then um, commercial uh, airliners and that kind of thing. Um, that transition probably happens, I think, reasonably soon. Within the next five years, we should start to see electric jets. 